This is the bright line spectrum of hydrogen. To the left, you see the raw light of a uh, hydrogen a gas discharge tube uh, being illuminated by electricity flowing through um, the hydrogen gas. And to the right, you see the bright line spectrum of the hydrogen gas with its classic red, green, and blue line, although I can't see the other fourth line, hard to pick up the indigo, through a diffracting lens. And through the diffracting lens, we are getting a nice bright line spectrum. This is an example of emission spectroscopy. By shooting this light through a diffracting lens, we are able to see the individual wavelengths of light that are being emitted by the hydrogen that indicates the specific type of photons of light emitted by electrons as they leap back into their um, stable ground state. So the electricity is exciting the electrons. They're leaping outward from the nucleus to higher energy states. And in doing so, they become excited. And this excited, unstable state doesn't last very long, and they jump back to their ground states. But when they jump back, they emit discrete energy levels, which are specific for the leaps from high energy to low energy. They emit that extra energy as individual photons that are specific because the energy in the atom is quantized. So they absorb specific energy levels, which by the way are the same photons of light you're seeing, and we can measure these uh, individual frequencies of light and actually get the exact energies from the leap in this hydrogen atom. And this is what Bohr did. He explained very, very simply that these individual different types of light were due to the individual specific energies that electrons emitted when they jumped back. In order for them to jump back, though, they have to absorb energy first to overcome the energy of the nucleus. And that's what we're seeing here. So again, this is emission spectroscopy of hydrogen. That classic red line is telling us something about a leap from the third energy level back to the second. And from that light, we can actually measure the uh, energy from that electron transition, which again is discrete and quantized. We never get any other lines besides these. That's why spectral analysis or emission spectroscopy or broad line spectrum is a fingerprint, so to speak, for each element. And we're able to look at each element, look at these lines and identify them based on their individual types of energies that are specific for them. And again, um, with this information, we can understand about something about the specific electron transitions that electrons make. Now, absorption spectroscopy would look very similar, except you'd see a full spectrum. But what we'd be missing would be these lines in the spectrum, as we would talk about a little later. Okay, so this is hydrogen in all of its glory.